morning all. Um, just thought I'd uh, post this up. We're, we're at Binstead Football Club this morning for the RTC. Uh, my son has challenged me to launch a YouTube channel um, to talk about coaching and to show some of the stuff that I do as a coach. He says I should do it because he thinks I'm a really good coach, I guess, which is nice to hear. Um, and uh, he knows that it's something that I want to do in terms of you know, moving more into a full-time role as a coach because it's something I really enjoy. So today, uh, today is football. Um, normally I'm coaching rugby, uh, but I mix between the two. So I coach Hazelmere, uh, Hazelmere Rugby uh, for the first team seniors, but I also do uh, the under nines on a Sunday. Um, so Hazelmere sit in Surrey 4, and we've got some good ambitions to get up to I guess in the in the short term at least into Surrey too. Um, so we're just building a squad, building a culture and, and trying to develop um, the, the rugby being played at Hazelmere. And then I also coach football for Hazelmere um, in the under 11s this year. Um, and you know, that, that is also just a lot of fun. Um, and uh, that's a team that I've coached for a couple of years now. They're doing really well, they enjoy their football, but it's a real tight group. Competitive, but it's all about social, um, social interaction and playing with their mates. Uh, and a lot of them only come to the sessions really because of the fact they get to spend their time with their mates. So, um, you know, what we try and do is build that into the sessions. It's the same with the rugby. Yeah, we're trying to build into the sessions that it's fun, it's enjoyable, and uh, they they play. A, a style of rugby but that I look at as smiley face rugby. If you are not enjoying it, you are not not playing your best. If you're smiling and enjoying your rugby and putting everything in, um, you're going to play harder, you're going to play better and you, you're going to get more out of it. Anyway, I'm going to go and see what's going on with the coaching here at the, at the Talent Centre. Um, I can see they've started off with Rondos, which is quite common. Um, gets the boys moving. <laughs> Gets them, uh, gets a bit of decision making going on, but also gets a bit of communication going as well. So it'd be good to see the rest of the sessions. We've got about an hour and a half here, uh, and I'll check in with uh, I'll check in with Joseph as he goes through it, see how he's getting on. All right, see you later.
moving around. Start moving around. This is about quality and timing of run. Go! Okay, liking this one. So he's set them with a challenge that he told them is quite difficult. But he's given them an objective that if he if they can if they can clear through this level, there's another level. Um, so we're, you know, we're we're straight into gamification. Um, you know, whether there's another level above the second level. You know, at the moment they're playing on level one, they know there's they, they know there's a progression, they know there's a level to go to. Um, you know, I don't know if there's a boss level above that, but uh, you know they. They've been told they've got something that's a challenge. Um, they know that there's a, an objective. Uh, they know what the objective is. There's a bit of a carrot dangled at them because he's told them that um, some, some pro footballers have been doing this, and, and uh, you know, so he's he set that challenge up quite nicely. But then right at the end, just dropped in uh, very very quickly. Um, that, that that hint, if you like, that if they get this one right, there's another challenge waiting for them. Um, and, and you can tell that they've just absolutely well grabbed done. that. Absolutely right, grabbed yourselves. it. Count. Samuel, come on. Right. Can you count how many times you do it?